We're back with another 2021 rookie profile. Is Daz Newsome a heat seeker? Watch and find out. Everybody, it's Brad from Roto Heat and RookieDraftGuide.com. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, let's do that. Let's let's go ahead and do that now. That that'd be that'd be great. Go ahead. If you have, thank you. We appreciate it. Don't forget, drop a like on this video. We want to get this thing up to 200. And don't forget, as always, check out RookieDraftGuide.com. All right. Question of the day. Question of this video is Daz Newsom one of your top 10 rookie wide receivers in this draft class? Let us know in the comments below. All right, high school college profile. Daz Newsom, three-star prospect out of Hampton, Virginia. Uh, wasn't really ranked, rated all that high when you look at uh, Rivals 247's composite, you know, probably around, you know, 70th-ish wide receiver in the uh, in the class that he was in, uh, which I believe was 2017. Um, wasn't overly scouted, you know, when you look at the, the teams that were making offers, uh, Carolina, obviously, where he went, you know, but he got like Maryland and Hampton. Uh, Maryland and Iowa State were kind of the, the biggest schools outside of UNC that sent him uh, an offer. And he turned it into a fairly usable career in college. You know, it wasn't, wasn't amazing, but it was certainly productive. Um, freshman season didn't get involved, but for his career, you know, he had 1,000 yard campaign in 2019. Uh, he had 188 receptions in his career. 2,435 yards, uh, 18 touchdowns. Also added, you know, 178 yards on the ground and two touchdowns. Uh, didn't get involved a lot in the rushing game throughout his uh, UNC days. You know, 20, was it 20? Yeah, 20 attempts uh, in college. 13 yards per catch in his career there at UNC. You know, I mean, it, it's it's a fine profile. I mean, nothing over the top, you know, and when and when you look at, at some of the some of the folks' uh, thoughts on his college film and, and, and the evaluators on his college film, he was okay. You know, average, nothing uh, nothing spectacular when it came to his production. And you know, but again, you have to wonder uh, when you're when you're looking at a guy like this coming from ACC, coming from a UNC type school where they don't. The offense is very very spread out. I mean, it's nothing super. Um, friendly because they, you know, quarterback play has been kind of rough. You know, obviously Sam Howell's changing things there. Uh, you know, Trubisky did fine when he was there, but there was that kind of that gap where there just wasn't a lot of uh, excitement there uh, from the quarterback position. If you don't have somebody to distribute the ball, it doesn't matter how many great weapons you have. So uh, when you're looking at a guy like Newsom, you have to uh, look at the full body work, but then look at, at how he handles, you know, his individual reps. You know, that's why uh, rookiedraftguide.com is great because we have film up that we've we've watched. You can see the individual reps against uh, you know uh, against the the defensive players, whether it's corner safety. See where he's lined up. See what they do with him. See how his route tree is. I mean, you have to when you're looking at a player like this, you have to look a lot deeper than just stats. You know, some of the basics. You have to really um, see the individual player and in, in all of this makeup, whether it's. High school days, the character, I mean, all of that factors into his profile. So uh, college wasn't bad, you know, definitely average production. Uh, there's some things that we want to, that we'll talk about as we get to the pro side of things, what we anticipate from Newsom coming out. And it'll be interesting to see what, what, uh, what you guys say in the comments below and what our evaluator said. So I want to start as we as we look to what to make of Daz Newsom at the pro level. I want to look at the negatives first because there's only a couple. I mean, only a couple that really stand out. Um, so with Newsom, a lot of the evaluators will tell you, you know, uh, a lot of the RookieDraftGuide.com evaluators said uh, when contact is done early, you know, so when he's getting pressed up early at the line, he has a little bit of trouble separating. Uh, now, obviously, the other side of it is where he was used in the formation. So at the next level, and this is also kind of another con, he's probably a, uh, a slot only receiver when you get to the next level. Now, obviously um, 
teams are going three, four wide receivers on a regular basis, so that's not terrible, but it's also a con because he's not going to get the opportunity to be on the field uh, an extremely large amount of snaps because he's not on the outside. He's probably going to be primarily used as a slot receiver at the next level. Uh, that being said, there are a lot of things to like about him. You know, he's, he's dynamic at all three levels. So whether he's doing short, medium or, or deep ball um, routes, you know, he, he can make some big plays. Um, his route tree is still a bit underdeveloped. We'll need some work there, but that's, it's not a bad thing. He does, he, he runs crisp routes. He just needs to continue to grow that route tree. Now, is some of that where he went? Absolutely. So maybe when he gets to the next level, maybe it's not a, it's a quick learning curve for him because he seems like from everything that we've read and found on him, seems like a pretty smart kid. Um, he seems to pick things up quickly. You know, he is able to, to, to win deep balls pretty well. Um, he sets up, you know, he's able to set up the corners or the safeties and, and win those types of plays. So um, there's a lot to like about the, the athletic profile, uh, his ability on the routes, his ability to win at the different levels of the defense, uh, you know, and, and that bodes well because from the slot, you're going to be used in a lot of different ways. Sometimes you're going to be used just to go deep, you know, just that straight out. Sometimes you're going to be used kind of crossers around the, all over the field and doing some some comeback type stuff. I mean, there's a lot that that a team could ask from their slot receiver, and Newsom appears to be pretty pretty good at being able to do all that. Uh, now, the bigger question for you guys, and and you know, the one I posed earlier is he one of the top ten rookie receivers in this class. Don't forget to comment. Let me know. Uh, I won't tell you exactly where we have him in our in our big scheme of things, but he's a fringe guy. I think. Um, the draft process will be hugely beneficial for him. Getting in front of teams, having the interviews, having the conversations, getting them on the board, having them talk routes, talk some of the you know some of the complexities of of reading defenses and things like that. I think will be helpful to his draft stock. Um, right now, uh, you know, specifically, a couple of the evaluators said they probably expect him to be day three pick, most likely, and probably one of those guys. You know, when that when you try to. Uh, to, to look at what that looks like for his, his fantasy profile, he's probably a, a late round pick at all. Uh, maybe a guy that goes undrafted that you stash on your taxi squad to just see what happens. Um, he's got the, the athletic profile, you know, size, speed, combination, all of that to be somebody that could develop into something nice at the next level. Um, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some work. It's going to take, you know, it, if his work ethic is, is you know, he has to be on the field and he's working as hard as he can. He could be a guy that could develop into something nice at the next level. 5'11", 190, you know, he's not the biggest guy in the field, so he's going to have to work hard. He's going to have to do a lot of things. He's going to have to impress with the routes, with his ability to go deep, you know, um, make some things happen. Show off that big playability that, that we've seen in, in, in cases at UNC. Uh, so, you know, we're interested to see how, how things develop for him. The team is definitely more above average on him, you know, which has kind of been the mantra of him this whole, his whole career so far. Above average, but can he take it to the next level? And that'll be interesting to see. I think situation will be big for him, uh, going to a place where he can learn from, from an established uh, receiver would be great. You know, just have a, a mentor to help him really develop in some of these other areas. You know, because the things that he's deficient in, he can grow in, you know, having trouble separating at the, at the line when getting pressed, you can beat that. There's ways to do it with with your hands, with your feet, you know, with all that 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 he could just learn and develop. And and then we this is the moot point, and that doesn't matter. Um, so keep an eye on Des Newsom. Keep an eye on him throughout the draft process. Make sure you go to RookieDraftGuide.com and join us and become uh, a film watcher. You know, and see what you think. Don't forget comment below is he one of your top ten. Let's keep that conversation going. Discord, Facebook, Twitter, all the places. We're here to talk. We're here to. Keep that conversation moving forward. Don't forget, check out rotoheat.com. We're doing a ton of content over there as well. Uh, but thank you guys as always. We love you guys, and we'll talk to you again soon.